I'm Katie Wilson, sitting here with the incredibly talented Jen Vaughn, artist, writer extraordinaire. I'm really excited to have you here. Yeah, thank you for having me, Katie. Yes, give it up for Jen. <laughs> <laughs> So first off, I just we have to talk about your leggings real quick because oh. I saw them. I'm a huge medieval fantasy fan, and anything that looks like armor, I'm all about it. Where did you get those? Uh, they were a Kickstarter from Lorica Clothing, and she studied armor at the Met. So these are actually King Henry the Eighth. That is so yeah. cool. So, I love it. That yeah. is awesome. They're great. <laughs> all right, so let's dive into some of your writing work, which is really exciting because you are the writer of the new. Uh, Goosebumps Download or Die series, which is going to be coming out a little bit later here in March. Yeah, I believe it's March 21st, unless that's not a Wednesday, but, <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure. March 21st. All right, so write that down in your calendars, guys. Um, so tell us a little bit about it. How'd you get involved with the series? What can we expect? Well, when I was 10 and I was reading Goosebumps by R.L. Stein, I put a curse on him. I bled into a book. I mashed it up into like a potato mess. I ate it. I you know. Uh, I <laughs> I was with you there. I was yeah, like, yeah. oh. Like, <laughs> and it finally worked. Just yeah. keep work, keep cursing kids. <laughs> I uh, no, Sarah Gatos, uh, one of my editors and friends, uh, approached me. She's like, do you want to pitch this? And I was like, absolutely. Kids, horror, like absolutely. So, and uh, download and die. It's a modern day play on the um, original book, Say Cheese and Die, about a haunted, I'm like turning without the mic, yeah. about a haunted uh, Polaroid camera. So this one is clearly about phones and apps instead to make it a little bit more modern. And the artist, uh, Michelle Wong, is amazing. I'm so excited she's on the series. Trina Farrell, our colorist, just, she like, she pumps it up so much more. Like it's, it's a good team. Like all the cover artists too, I'm just excited. Yeah, what it. is the process like to find the perfect cover artist? Do you get to choose that? Yeah, I sent the list of demands, <laughs> and uh, they, they, they pretty much gave me what I wanted. They're like, They're, this is who I want. Yeah, this is who I want, this is who has time. Naomi Franke's, Christina Kelly, Sarah Duvall, so yeah. It's, I'm excited, there's a little, little, little Michelle's, this is the back of a comic, but um, there is also another series called Monsters at Midnight, written by Jeremy, Jeremy Lambert and uh, drawn by Chris, um, Beniglio, sorry, I was like trying to get that right. And that one's actually out in stores right now, and it's about two sisters, and I like it a lot. Very cool. How yeah. many uh, episodes? Like, uh, there's three issues of each. So. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Mine stars uh, Mitra and her two friends Kira and Flips, who like to play a lot of uh, um, like JRPG games in their free time. So um, navigating their new school life while uh, you know a haunted phone starts to do its work. So. <laughs> well, as a fan of Goosebumps, I was always I was so excited when I saw it was going to be uh, adapted into a comic book series. So you said you had read the books growing up, but do you have like a favorite one? Oh, I know, there's don't do so that. many. Why? Oh man, I like, should have prepared I mean, Welcome to Dead one. House is always good. Yes. Um, the, Classic. I'm forgetting the series title, but the, the one with Billy and his sister, the underseas ones. Oh, um, okay. It's not deeply something, that's a band <laughs> uh, or a song, but. Yeah, um, yeah, all the, the aquatic horror always spoke to me in a way because it's just, yeah, we, we're still discovering things, so it seems like it's just, yeah, it's, it's the, the most true to life, terrible. But also, um, Night of the Living Dummy, like any of the slappy-based stuff is yeah. good too because dolls are creepy.